wet, cold days out here at Murdoch Pines. Today's lesson we're talking about how to change your swing path. And sometimes the best drills are the drills that you do that I would call in motion. Now there are a lot of things that have to happen for you to be able to work on swing path in the first place. And that means when you're getting to the top of the backswing that you've got enough depth, that you've rotated enough with your chest to get yourself into a position that's going to allow you to change your swing path coming forward. Now what do I mean by this? Now if you're a person who takes the backswing and you don't get a lot of chest rotation on the way back, well it's going to be very very difficult if you're a person who comes over the top to get that swing on the inside. And nine times out of ten when you get into this position, like I said, you're going to come over the top but if you are coming from the inside, it also causes a case where you can get stuck and you're gonna hit a lot of fat shots or what I would call hook shots. So it's really, really important that before you start to work on your path going forward, that you create enough turn in your backswing. Now we've all got variations in flexibility. So understanding that you may be that person that needs to get the lead side heel off the ground a little bit more to get yourself more round or even the case where you've just got to feel like for the first time in your life that you're creating more rotation or depth with the trail side hip. If you can do those two things or implement those two things, it does mean that the shoulders are going to turn a lot more. So doing loads of turning exercises as well at home is gonna be of maximum benefit to you. But once you've got that depth, what can we actually do to change our swing path? Now I'm going to use three alignment sticks. First of all, I'm going to put one alignment stick down on the ground, aiming at my target. And then I'm going to grab a second alignment stick, and this is for the person who comes over the top. And I'm going to put it at the back side of this alignment stick, away from the alignment stick. So roughly what I would call, I don't know, I've got my seven iron in hand here, almost a full length of shaft away from that alignment stick. Then I'm going to grab a second alignment stick, and I'm going to put it near the alignment stick but on the front side. Now this is what I call a classic drill of unders and overs. So if you're a person who suffers from what I would call the over the top motion, well like I said you put the stick on the outside on the way back and on the inside on the way forward and then you've got this path to help you direct where you're wanting to go. But like I said, it's very, very important that you make sure that you get a good backswing in the first place. Now, start extremely wide, and slowly but surely after you've hit a few shots, bring those alignment sticks in a little bit closer. So it becomes just that little bit more difficult, or I should say the back one a little bit closer. Because it's going to force you to have to get that club from the inside even more. So then you can keep working on those feels and creating good feels. But then like I said at the start of the video, making sure that you have good enough shoulder rotation in the backswing is also extremely important. Now for the case if you're that person who gets too much on the inside, then let's just reverse that pattern. Let's put the back alignment stick closer to the alignment rod down on the ground and the front alignment stick out and in front. So now we've got the ability to direct the path this way. And that again is gonna help you to get the path into a better direction. Now this one's more for what I would call the better player who's worked all their life trying to get from the inside but then has found that they're getting too much on the inside and need to get a little bit more of a plane that works across the ball. So these feels will help you to generate what you're looking for in the sense of being able to strike the ball the way that you want. So the implementation of two alignment sticks, I've got a third, but you might need to stick a club down on the ground, is gonna help you to learn how to control your path as you come through the golf ball, as long as you've got a good turn in your backswing and get yourself into a good place at the top. So try that drill out. It's what I call unders and overs or overs and unders just to help you direct your path into a better place and make you get a little bit better swing plane and that little bit of better contact. Try that one out. Make sure you like, subscribe and share this video and leave a comment down below how that one went for you.